My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll begin our lesson with problem number 61. Yesterday we did problem number 60. Problem for today, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told a b. Uh, we are told that a boy is b years old. We are told that he is b years old. So that that quantity is a known quantity. We are told that he is b years old. The question is, what is his father's current age? So that's the unknown. What is the father's current age? That's the unknown part. That's the, that's what we are solving for. If y years from now, y years from now, he the father will be t times as old as his son. Let's plug in the. Let's plug in. A, let's make up a variable for this unknown quantity, the father's current age. Let's call it f. We're going to represent father's current age with letter f. Now remember, that's the only unknown quantity. We are told that he is b years old. The boy is b years old today. That's a known quantity. Y years from now, the father is going to be t years old. These two are also known quantities. The only unknown quantity is f, and that's what we have to solve for the father's current age. So let's let's get going. So if father is if father is f years old today, then we are told y years from now, y years from now is when we are looking at y years from now. If father is f years old today, then y years from now is going to be y, f plus y. If father is f years old today, then three years from now is going to be f plus three. Seven years from now is the f plus seven. Ten years from now is the f plus ten. Whatever the value of f is today, plus ten. Therefore, y years from now is going to be f plus y. Similarly, the boy we are told is b years old today. Therefore, y years from now is going to be b plus y. We are told that at that point, y years from now, y years hence, the father's age is going to be whatever the boy's age is times t. Times t. That is equal to the father's age. Father's age is going to be t times boy's age y years from now. That's it. We are done. All we have to do is solve for our unknown. Our unknown, remember, is, is this quantity right here, father's age, which we are representing with letter f. So we have to solve for f, subtract y from both sides, and f is going to be equal to t times b plus y minus y. Just bring, subtract y from both sides, and this y is going to appear there. That's it, that's our answer. How do we know if this answer is any good? How do we know if this answer is correct? Well, as always, by converting this algebraic problem into an arithmetic problem and solving it arithmetically. How do we convert it into an arithmetic problem? Well, we have done we have done it 60 times before by plugging in numbers. By plugging numbers for the variable, solve the problem arithmetically, and see if the answer that you get arithmetically agrees with the answer that this this equation gives us. So let's do that, shall we? Enough of the talk. So let's pre let's pretend that the boy is how do, how old do you want boys to be? Let's pretend he's 10 years old. What is what is going to be the father's age? Y years from now? Let's say five years from now. If the father happens to be, let's say, three times as old, three times as old, five years from now. So listen carefully, okay? This is where you have to pay attention. If boy is 10 years old, if boy is 10 years old, pay attention. If boy is 10 years old, if boy is 10 years old, five years from now, the boy is going to be 15. Okay, with me so far? If boy is going to be 15 years old, five years from now, the father is going to be three times as old. So the father's age, y years from now, the father's age is going to be we said right, y plus this, this value, f plus y, f plus y, father's years from now, five years from now, father is going to be 45. That's not an answer, that's f plus y. Therefore, father, if father is going to be 45 years age, five years from now, then today, he has to be 40. This f has to be 40. Does this answer give us 40? Let's find out, shall we? Why does father need to be 40 years old today? Again, one more time, because we are pretending that, fa we are pretending that, that the son is 10 years old, Today, if son is 10 years old today, 5 years from now, son is going to be 15 years old, and we are told that at that point the father is going to be 3 times as old. 3 times 15 is 45, the so father is going to be 45 years old, 5 years from now, which means he must be 40 today. If we can get 40 out of this thing, we are in business. How much is T? What did we plug in for T? T is 3. Which is why it's important that you just put a line there and put plug-in number there. Don't write it on the side like this, t equals 3, for two reasons. First of all, you're wasting your time. Secondly, when the time comes to plug-in numbers here, your eyes are going to go all over the page looking for the place where you put down the values. Don't do that. In the problem itself, just throw a little line and put down 3. b plus y. How much is b? b is 10. Plus y. How much is y? 
y was 5 minus 5. There you go. There you go right here. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 times 3 is 45. This is age 5 years from now. Minus 5 is going to be 40. Father's current age is 40. Father's current age would have to be 40 if boy is 10 years old today and if father is going to be 3 times as old as boy is 5 years from now. Let's do the next one, shall we? If you get a hang of this thing, as long as you can think systematically, algebra problems are not that bad. You just have to pay attention, you just have to concentrate. Next problem we are told that my Mike is Mike is three years older than, than his brother Billy. Then his brother Billy. So here is three years, it's not a variable. We are told that the sum of their ages, sum of their ages is s years. So that's your variable right here. That's also a known quantity. We are told is s years. The sum, s u m sum of their ages is s years. The question is how old are the boys? in terms of S. So we're being asked to express their ages, Michael's ages and his brother's age in terms of S, which represents the sum of their ages. Let's get going. Let's see what we can do. Actually, actually there are two different perspectives you can take here. There are two different vantage points you can take here. You can look at the world from the point of view of Michael or you can look at the world from the point of view of Billy. What should we do? The answer, of course, is very straightforward. We should do both. Let's first let's first look at look at this problem from the point of view of Billy. You're going to use Billy Billy's current age as our point of reference. Bring Billy's current age as our point of reference. We are told that oh, we don't have Billy's age, so let's make up a point. Billy's current age, let's, let's, let's put down as a B. Billy's current age is B. We're just making up this variable. It's not in the problem. We made it up. If Billy's current age is B, and we are told that Michael is three years older than Billy, that implies that Michael, Michael's current age must be B plus 3. You with me? Because he's 3 years older than Billy. Billy is B years old. We just made up this variable. This is our variable. Their sum we are told is S. The sum of their ages is S, which means S must represent Billy's age, which is B, plus his brother's age, which is B plus 3. We are done. Combine the two variables, the B's, so we get 2 B's plus 3 equals S. Subtract, subtract the S from both sides and we find that 2 B's equals s minus 3 and therefore b equals s minus 3 over 2. That's Billy's age. That's Billy's age. What about Michael's age? Michael's age is going to be this amount that we just found out, s minus 3 over 2, which is which is which is b right here, plus 3. So this implies this implies that Michael Michael must be s minus 3 over 2 plus 3. But of course we can write 3, of course we can if we can write 3 as 6 because we can multiply 3 by 2 over 2 so that we have the common denominator and now we get s minus 3, 3 times 2 which is 6 over 2 because they have the same, same denominator. Minus 3 and a plus 6 is going to give us s plus 3 over 2. This is Michael's age. This is Michael's age. Now we're going to solve the problem from point of view of Michael's age. And I'm going to start from the from the from the top part so that we have, we have more room. We don't need the problem. We already have the problem. Let's look at it from the point of view of 
Michael Sage. I'm going to use now Mike Sage. Mike's age as the point of reference. And I wonder I wonder what we're gonna get for the answer when we do it that way. Mike's age. Let's let's make up a variable for Mike's age. Let's call it M. Let's call it M. So if Michael if Michael is M years old today, then that implies that Billy how do you suppose Billy would have to be? We are told that Billy is three years younger. Remember, we are told, I erased the problem, but we were told that Mike is three years older. If Mike is three years older, that also means that Billy is three years younger than Michael. If Michael is m years old, Billy must be m minus three. m minus three. And we know that some of their ages are m, which is Michael's age, plus Billy's age, which is m minus three, which gives us two m minus three, which is the s which is the S. We have to solve for M. We have to solve for M. Bring, add 3 to both sides. I'm not going to do it out everything. If you add 3 to both sides, you get 2M equals S plus 3. 2M equals S plus 3. Divide both sides by 2 and we find that M equals S plus 3 over 2. Oh my God, this is spooky. This is absolutely spooky. That's exactly what we found before. Michael equals, Michael's age is S plus 3 over 2, S plus 3 over 2. And now you take the Michael's age, put it in here, Billy is M minus 3, M is right here, so Billy is going to be M minus 3, M is right here, S plus 3 over 2, minus 3, right, minus 3 is with the common denominator. With the common denominator of 2, so the 3 becomes 6, and you will end up with s plus 3 minus 6 over 2 plus 3 and minus 6 is going to give us s minus 3 over 2, and that's Billy. I wonder what we got before. Oh, what do you know? Billy's age we found before when we were looking at the point of point of reference of Billy's age, we found that Billy was s minus 3 over 2. The point I'm trying to make here is that. It really doesn't matter how you solve the problem, as long as your logic is correct, as long as your rationale is correct, as long as your method, your thinking is systematic, you'll always get the same answer. Just because there, are, there happen to be five different ways of solving the problem, obviously you're not going to have five different answers, otherwise there wouldn't be five different ways. If there are five different answers, then at the very most, you can have only one correct answer. Four of them must be wrong. You can't have two right answers. See you tomorrow, okay? I know.